Okay, so welcome back again, and here's something a little bit different. So, back in the day, back when the Nintendo GameCube was my game console of choice, I bought a game, or rather, my family picked up a game. I can't entirely remember the details, called Tales of Symphonia, and that was my first ever Tales game. And, well, I loved it. I absolutely adored that game. I played it straight through several times, and I... That's something I can't really say that I do very often, I definitely don't go back and play games, so the fact that I did speaks volumes for how much I enjoyed the game. So of course when I heard that there was a HD remake-ish version, more like a remastered kind of upscaled version coming out, then of course I had to pick it up for my PS3, so that's what I've done, so here we are with Tales of Symphonia. Now, the issue is that Tales is a ridiculously, ridiculously long game. Well. It's a JRPG, I don't know what you'd expect, to be honest, so... Yeah, in, in that sense, I don't really feel like I should be playing it all the way through, unless, of course, you want me to, but... I'm gonna give you just a little bit... Oh, a little bit of a feeling for one of my favourite games of all time, to be honest. Uh, the skits contain a variety of fun conversations between the characters and offer hints about the game. You can turn them off. I don't know, why would I turn them off? No. Battle controls. I can play this on manual, so I'll go on manual. I have played this before, after all, and this is actually, oh, 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 thank you for playing the Tales of series, here's a gift for you, oh, I got the Tales, oh, I played all of these games, <laughs> oh, holy, that's a lot of costumes, alright, so we'll have a little listen, and I will play probably about half an hour of it, Once see how far I can time, get. Once upon a time, there existed a giant tree that was the source of mana. A war, however, caused this tree to wither away, and a hero's life was sacrificed in order to take its place. Grieving over the loss, the goddess disappeared unto the heavens. The goddess left the angels with this edict. You must wake me, for if I should sleep, the world shall be destroyed. The angels bore the Chosen One, who headed towards the tower that reached up unto the heavens. And that marked the beginning of the regeneration of the world. Lloyd Irving, wake up. I imagine it's going to be exactly the same. Lloyd Irving, wake up. Oh yeah, buddy. Lloyd! Ah. How do you manage to sleep standing? Oh, Professor Rain, it, is class over? Uh, never mind. Let's have someone else answer the question. Yes, Rain. Mythos the hero brought about the end of... Correct. Afterwards, Mythos the hero for to seal away the Desions whom caused... But the Desions came back and are now causing it. We covered that in class last time, remember? When the seal weakens, the Desions reappear. Just... I... Uh, yeah, I knew that. Today is the day of prophecy. It is a very important day, which the Chosen of Mana will receive an oracle from the goddess Martel. Now Chosen One... Colette. Yes, ma'am? Tell us about the journey of world regen- It is a journey to seal the Desions. Upon passing the trials of the goddess Martel, the summoned spirits of- Correct. I suppose we should expect the Chosen herself to know the answer to that. Mana depletion is the cause of the current food- It is said that this occurs because the Desions consume vast amounts of mana in their human- The Chosen's journey has two purposes. To revive mana. Now, for the next question. <gasps> what was that? That's... Settle down. It would seem that the time for the... Or I will go and check on the chapel. Everyone stay here. Professor! No, Colette. 
If it is the Oracle, the priests will come here for you. Wait here with everyone else. Yes, ma'am. Alright, so we're back. This is pretty nostalgic for me, I have to say. I like the little hole in the wall. It's pretty, pretty funny. So, the upscaled version doesn't actually look... Well, I, I, I have to say I'm not impressed by how they've upscaled it. Of course, it is quite an old game, so I guess all they've really done is sharpen the edges, make it widescreen, try not to make them look too fat. Of course, you could do this on the emulator on the computer, and I think I have done this before. I mean, I told you, I've played this game many times over the years. It came out, what, 2004? 2005, maybe? So, nine, ten years ago. Pretty, pretty beast. Anyhow, we can talk to Genus and collect the little party members. Uh, we can also have a little talk about the hole in the wall, Lloyd. Why don't we... Why don't we... Well... Frickin' kid, get out of the way. Alright, here we go. Hole in the wall. Huh. Lloyd doesn't want to admit to anything. Alright, Colette. Hey. That light was so pretty. I know it was, thanks. Alright, we'll talk to Genus then. Oh no, we don't need to talk to anyone, I remember. So, standard JRPG practice. You're meant to listen to the people talk, but no one ever does. Alright, Genus, what's up? Lloyd, where are you going? Don't tell me you're sneaking out. Rain will get mad. I'm really curious to find out what really happened to Colette when she receives the Oracle. They always talk about the Chosen of Regeneration the Day of Prophecy, but no one tells us what ha really happens. But my sister said to stay and study by ourselves. It's research, yeah. Yeah. That's just an excuse. Alright, yep. We're best friends. Of course Colette's gonna come, because Colette just uh, adores Lloyd, follows him. So... Where do I reckon I'll get to in this? Well, we should be we should meet up with Kratos, so I reckon. And then from there, I, I don't know if we'll really be able to get much further than that, but I'll do my best to, you know, get as far as I can. I'm not going to follow this game through. I think I'll play this one in my own time, since I have played it many times before, and I kind of... I don't know. I don't feel like I, I want to rush myself through it again. Oh, what's going on? It's awfully quiet. Where'd everyone go? Alright, the designs are attacking or something, I can't remember. Frank! <laughs> what a bad name. Frank, what happened to everyone in the village? They're all hiding. The designs invaded the village just a short while ago. Thankfully, no one was hurt. They passed through the village and headed for the temple. Why? Isalia was has a non-aggressive aggression treaty with the designs. You mean that agreement where they don't attack the village as long as we leave the human ranch alone? Yes, Grandmother said it's to protect me. Oh, where's Grandmother? Uh, I'm not even going to try. Is in the temple preparing for the ritual. Uh, Fidara? I don't know. In the temple? But that's where the designs. The priests are there with her. There's no need to worry. Now, collect. I know. I promise to fill my du duty as the chosen. Good luck, collect. Lloyd, Genus, you two should go home. I'm worried about letting Colette go by herself. I'll go with her to the temple. Me too. That's alright, thank you. I'll wait at home, come back immediately if anything happens. Yes, do that. Alright, cool. I don't know why the school allows Lloyd to carry around two swords. I know they're wooden swords at the moment, but still. You're kind of thinking, is that okay? You're allowed to dress like that? Now, I'm not sure if they voice the skits. Oh, well I thought they had the Japanese voices on the skits. Maybe I can change that somehow. Well this is odd. This looks... I swear it used to be blue. Maybe I'm... Maybe I've gone crazy. I'm just kind of... I just want to have a look. Feel the difference more than anything. I think we should have some titles, shouldn't we? No. How do we change our costume? I, I, maybe it's a quip? Hmm. We definitely unlocked some costumes. So how exactly do we change them? I thought it was in the status menu. I always thought it was in the status menu. What is this? Usually, they're titles, aren't they? Huh. Well, we have two different ones. So if I do change it, maybe it will change it. Oh, I don't know. Guardian. Oh, it did change There you go. We have the... What's his name from the Tales game? Uh, Guy. That's his name, Guy. Interesting costume. That's not cool. I thought we unlocked more than one. To be honest, I thought we unlocked loads. But maybe it's... Oh, each person gets a different one, so Genius Researcher. That sounds like a Rita one, so that one probably from Vesperia. Noble Son. 
There's maybe one I don't actually recognise, so there you go. So we've got the save point here. This is all the same. I imagine it will save reasonably similar. Yeah, it's reasonably similar. I just want to go through, kind of review what's different from my memories. I mean, I don't want to walk through it, like I said, so. Alright, let's get to the temple. We should be attacked here. Yep. Whoa, it's a monster! Oh yeah, she's dressed as Rita. Oh, and he's dressed as... What's his my face? Long-haired red dude. Oh my word. How can I forget this? Uh, I don't know. What's his name? The guy from Tales right, of Abyss, go. the main character. No oh, hello. Yeah. It's alright though, we got Demon Fang. Demon Fang is the best spell. I must be a genius! Double Demon Fang! That was just warming up. Well, why is it quoted? I don't remember it ever being quoted. That was easy. Lloyd, you're amazing! Yeah, I did everything. Cheers, buddy. Yeah. Oh yeah, you have X-Spheres in this game, which is kind of interesting. But this is just a look, like I said. So X-Spheres are just kind of human souls. Spoiler. They power you up. Not really anything special, particularly, but... You know, they're there. Oh, okay, here we go. It's gonna... A little bit of intro into battle system. So the battle system in this game is actually less developed than in the newer ones. Obviously, T Tales of Grace is a little bit different. That uses a ship system. This uses more of a this uses a linear kind of battle motion. You can't move around like you can in other games. You can't. It's only a 2D plane. So you are you as a character and the monster are on a straight line, let's say, so you can move back and forward on that straight line, but you can't move side to side. So it's a 2D kind of battlefield, although it looks like it's 3D. Whereas in Tales of the Abyss, which was released just after this one, I think, they changed it to 3D. So that's just that's something to pay attention to. I actually want to put it on the Japanese voices, because I kind of want to listen to the skits. I just want to see what that sounds like. Skit title on... Uh, language. Language? Japanese. Okay, let's try it now. Not that I can understand Japanese, but you know. Well, that's not in Japanese at all. What is this lie? Ah. Huh. Ha. <laughs> well, this is something that they didn't have in the GameCube version as well, at least in the PAL version. We didn't have the choice of languages, so we'll try it up. I don't know why it hasn't changed, though, because I clearly changed it in there, but oh well. Oh, there you go. That's in Japanese. That sounds so cool. <laughs> I quite like it in Japanese, why not? Listen to that, that sounds awesome! Japanese is a strange language. I mean, it'd probably be less awesome if I actually understood what they were saying, but you know. They, also, they say fireball in English, I guess that's something. So my, men my menus stay in English, despite Japanese, so I guess it literally is just Japanese voices rather than Japanese text. Which kind of makes sense, I suppose. I think that's pretty cool. If it's something that I haven't been able to do, especially like if I emulate it on the computer, because my computer can emulate GameCube, no problem. Yeah, so addressed as Rita Mordia, Guy something, Fox, <laughs> I don't think that's actually his name. And of course, the wonderful whose name I've forgotten. What is his frickin' name? Redhead Guy. Ugh, I can remember all the other characters of. Tales of the Abyss, and I can't remember Redhead Guy. What is the frickin' main character? What is his name? It's not Ash. Ash is his counterpart. Ugh, what is his name? I don't oh, I'm sorry, I apologise for this. Whatever. Whoa, that light really is coming from the temple. When an oracle is going to be conveyed, Colette's going to be the chosen of... Regeneration? Sorry, I read that wrong, but whatever. It's really, really bright. Say, Colette, when the Oracle is conveyed, you'll become the Chosen who will save the world, right? You're going to be like the hero Mythos. So maybe you should act a little more, you know, Chosen-like. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Hey, there's a lot of commotion at the temple. Alright then, it's time to fight. Fight some big burly guy with a mace. I think it's a mace, as far as I remember. And like I said before, this is actually a port of the PS2 version, which was only recent in Japan, so there should be a couple of extra scenes here and there. I doubt that it's early on in the game, but you never know, right? Hey, are you alright? No, he's, he's dying, friends. The Zions broke the non-aggression treaty and attacked the temple. Chosen one quickly, the Oracle. I know. <coughs> That's his dying sound. 
<laughs> I probably put that in a bit early, but whatever. He's gone. No! Alright, let's cry. His body has disintegrated into dust. So something they have got rid of is they got rid of the outlines, which are kind of... I don't know, I kind of like the outlines. I mean, obviously the texture of the bad look of the grass texture is pretty damn terrible, but, you know, it's pretty... You still change quite nicely. I, I quite like it. I'm going. Of course I'm going. Yeah! Are you sure it's dangerous? Dwarven Val number one. Let's all work together for the peace of the world. Let's go! Wait, I'm um, okay. Yeah, we need to go save Rain. That's eh, no problem. It looks a bit odd with Rita's clothes and blonde hair, but I think it's a nice little cameo, isn't it? Alright, then you, old hag, for to die. Nicola, Where's Nicola. Josen? Behind us. Run, Nicolette! My daughter, there she is! Chosen one, your life is mine. I won't let you designs get away with anything. Designs? <laughs> That's so funny. Well then, die at the hands of the designs you so hate. Get them. Alright, some fighty time. Luckily we got wooden swords to defend ourselves against the true swords. That's fine. I quite like I do like this Japanese sound, it's pretty funny. Oh, screw you, dude. I am terrible at this fighting system, apparently. To use the new ones. Obviously, I went through the whole of Tales of Zillia on my channel, or Exilia, or whatever it's fucking called. Justice and love will always win. I hate that saying. Alright, it's time for the big mace man. Here we go. And a hammer. Oh, I forgot he had a hammer. So this is no different, this is exactly the same, so for those of you that haven't experienced Tales, especially if you're on the younger side, this is kind of what it's all about, really. But this is, it has, it's aged reasonably well, just because of the style of Tales games, you know, if, if it was trying to be realistic, super style, what, this guy hasn't even hit me yet. I thought you would fight a little bit longer than that. Man, this guy's really tough. Look at him, he's got tusks, he's clearly half mammoth or something. Do, 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 do. Ah, Kratos. He's probably the coolest character in this game, so there you are. You can also uh, kill him. Spoiler. But you have to kill him. Obviously, there's no permadeath in this game, so that would be freaking terrible, because I die constantly. Uh, now. That sounds so cool. <laughs> it really does. I don't know. I don't know what it is about Japanese, but it sounds freaking awesome. Oh, God. Oh, damn. It's alright. Imagine Ow, Colette, don't get hit. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. But Colette, the chosen one, cannot die. So, yeah, early on, this game is very much just do the same combo over and over again, because that's all you can do, to be honest. Not really paying much attention at the moment. Alright, here we go. Clean him up. First did. They just say their words in a Japanese accent. It sounds awesome. I don't know what it is. I think I just like the accent, to be honest. Good job, Genus. Oh my word. Oh no, I thought he killed me. I was like, what? What a worthless weapon. Oh, he changed weapons. He put his hammer away. I don't he didn't do that before, I'm pretty sure. That's cool. I don't remember him changing weapons. So that's, that's an exciting new change. There we go, we win. Victory. Didn't really matter for he did it. Maybe it was because your sword was a little bit rusty. Not bad, am I? So, obviously, the story has something to do with these two, but I'm not going to spoil it all if you haven't played this game. Or maybe I will, I don't know. I'm pretty good at spoiling. He has a truth. He has a real sword. That kind of helps out. Just going to say. And an x ray of course. Is that an x ray そうだ。信託を受け。おばあ様。私。知れんて何だ。魔物の言葉。聖堂の中から邪悪な気配がする。その通りじゃ。ミコは天からの審判を受ける。しかし、護衛に就くはずの祭司たちはディザイアの襲
それならロイドかお前はロイドというのかそうだけど人の名前を尋ねる前にまず自分も名乗ったらどうだ私はクラトス傭兵だ金さえ用意してもらえるならミコの護衛を引き受けよう手に腹は変えられんな契約成立だなま待てよロイドお前は足でまといて I don't know why I'm seeing so quiet actually it's because I can't tell if they're saying things So yes, obviously Kratos is a little bit uneasy from Dailing Lloyd come, but uh, as to why, well, you have to play the game to find out. There is a reason, not just because he's young and like a boy. <laughs> yeah, of course you're coming, genius. Yeah, see, of course. I took the words right out of his mouth. This is absolutely a field trip, Kratos, don't be mean. So there you go, that's a quick look at the new Tales of Symphonia Chronicles game, I suppose. I call it a day there, inside the temple of course, so it's pretty much the same as all other Tales games. Of course you're limited to the 2D scope of the battle system, which I tried to explain a little bit earlier. And it hasn't really changed too much since back in the day, since what I remember, but it's still a really fun game. So if you haven't played a Tales game, or you have, and you haven't played this one, I would suggest picking it up. You don't have to do what I did and buy the collector's edition, but you can pick it up for however much it is and you should have a blast at least i hope so till next time good night